Hey guys, well, um, I recovered slightly from my minor meltdown that I had yesterday when I was trying to boil with that birch bark container. And I knew, um, I just published it right now, so I know I'm going to get some comments about why didn't you stone boil, you could have just stone boiled, and stuff like that. For me, um, this was a test to do it this way. It doesn't mean that I didn't know that other ways were out there or possible. It's just this is the way that I chose to do it because I've seen this described and uh, talked about in certain books. I did do a use YouTube search. I believe it was been a while ago because I seem to remember doing it because I did it again last night. And um, I don't remember seeing, I didn't see one last night. I don't remember seeing one uh, when I did research this uh, however long ago it was. It's been a while anybody doing it the way that I tried. I've ne I don't think I've ever seen anybody suspended over a fire and actually get it to boil. Does it mean it's impossible? Absolutely not. It just means I ran into, into um, quite a few problems. One problem, and I can't remember what I, what I put in my video yesterday, but uh, one problem in particular is getting that stupid square or rectangle bowl to balance correctly. You need a round container, okay? Something that keeps something that's not going to slosh the center of the gravity, the center of gravity all over the place and make it all lopsided. So that was uh, one problem for sure. Um, when I was doing my uh, YouTube search last night, I did run across an individual who I've seen in some other videos. Um, I'm not subscribed to him and I can't remember his name, but if you, if you do a search of, you know, boiling in a birch bark container or something like that, this dude will pop up. This guy does everything with rocks basically you, a lot of stuff he doesn't use any tools man-made tools or anything so he did it and his container looked very much like mine I probably stole the idea from him because you know like I said I did a search a few uh, quite a while ago uh, but he stone boiled with it I, I re dug out my my container that kind of got launched and uh, that one corner that started leaking somehow resealed itself or something and it doesn't seem to be leaking I've got it tilted a little bit because you saw that it started to rip. I've got it tilted away from that rip. I'm going to line the bottom of the container like this gentleman did with some sticks or if, um, actually I might uh, do something a little bit different. I might take another piece of birch bark and line the bottom of it with just a thick piece of birch bark. And then I'm going to heat some sto uh, stones up. You can hear maybe hear the fire going. And I got some rocks. We got a quarry down the road, I mean just right down the road and I got some pretty nice rocks. And we just got home and my wife took off with the car, so the rocks are in the car. But I'll get a good bed of coals going here and, uh, and get set up. Anyway, like I said, uh, I'm going to line the bottom of it with uh, another piece of birch bark and make some tongs real quick and let's get this sucker to boil. I want it to boil one way or another. Okay guys, so um, you're going to notice a couple of things. First of all, it's getting dark. Um, my wife took a lot longer than what I thought she was going to take. I actually tried it with just a few rocks just to see if I could get it to boil and I mean it was close but I didn't quite get it so I dumped all the water out and um, another thing how I said I was going to line the bottom with birch bark well you can see that's what happened and which is fine it, it worked good but now you know I'd kind of have to hold it open while holding a hot rock in one hand and putting it in there that guy that I told you about that I researched and I'm sorry I can't remember his name but he's pretty popular he's uh, foreign I think he's bald he wears a scarf a lot of times um, anyway he lined his with sticks. I really don't see a problem with that. Um, hopefully it'll work. And then I've got a lot more rocks in the in the fire. Well, those sticks didn't work as good as I wanted. I should have had them down there better. All they are is taking up space now. I should have done a better job with those. Hopefully it won't compromise my container. And I'm putting a ton of ash in there. You know, I should be knocking it off or doing whatever, but I just want it to boil.
I don't want nobody saying it's not, well, I guess that's, a, that's a, anything more would be overkill, I think. That's boiling right there. And the water that you see here, mostly, I mean, there is a little tiny bit of leakage, but mostly it's from when I dumped it out because it didn't work. Like I said, my wife finally came home and brought me the rocks I needed. So, I mean, it is maybe leaking a tiny bit just because of overflow, but it's a, it's a pretty solid container. I mean, if I was worried about it, I could fish them rocks back out again. Um, I, I don't even, that wouldn't matter. Anyway, it's possible for sure. You can see the water's not really going anywhere. So yeah, this way is possible and I can totally see, you know, that this is a very feasible method. Um, and instead of doing all these fancy stitches, like I said, just the clothespin thing would work just fine. I did all these fancy stitches so that it would be more durable for the flame. Anyway. There you go. Hope you guys like it. Take care.